and we're going to jump into game number three, the deciding game here between Rafael Levy and Patrick Fernandez. Rafael Levy, of course, one of the best known names in the business, been around for donkey's years, a French Hall of Famer. And of course, Patrick Fernandez from South America, from Brazil, will have, of course, the full throated support of the South American community, particularly the Brazilian community, which, as I'm sure everyone is aware, one of the most passionate communities in the game here, Reed. We jump into game number three. This is an uh, an Omnath mirror, of course, and whoever wins this one continues on. Whoever loses, that's it. They are done. They pack it up and they go home. Yeah, pretty classic matchup of, uh, you know, the old veteran against the, the up-and-coming player, Patrick Fernandez. Might not be a household name if you're an American or European viewer, but he has really, like, proved himself quite a number of times in the, these past 18 months, um, really a player who has shined in the world of, of MTG arena, showing up in these mythical invitational tournaments and a top eight in the pro tour, the players tour finals to get him here. Yeah, he's done very well. I got the chance to catch up with him actually after, uh, after his stellar performance. And he was just, he was so thrilled to be there. He, and, and you could tell that it meant, meant the world to him and he's done really well as well. Top eighting this event and, uh, and, and cementing himself as a, uh, as a very talented player indeed, we'll see Beanstalk Giant now from Raphael Levy. Raphael Levy, a man who needs no introduction. He's going to get one anyway, good mate of mine, and someone who, uh, if you don't know, not in addition to his uh, his wrinkled brain plays on the battlefields of Magic, is also a, uh, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu national champion. He was the French cha uh, champion for Jiu-Jitsu a number of years ago and uh, today lives with his young family in Toulouse, where he still uh, masters both physical and mental, mental disciplines. Also just a great bloke. Omnath now for Raph, of course, the namesake card of this deck. And with Fable Passage to follow it up. Very nice start here for the French Hall of Famer. Looks like the players are keeping it civil. No, no lucky clovers to be seen. We're just playing our cards fair and square as, as they were intended to be played. In as much as you can call Omnath plus Fabled Passage fair and square magic. <laughs> fair and square. Yeah, maybe so fair I'll and catch, triangle. Catch myself uh, for a moment here. Yeah. Fair, fair and fair and pentagonal, perhaps. <laughs> right. Finds a mountain there. And I uh, can follow it up with an escape to the wild. So a tidy turn there. Maybe fair and hexa hexagonal at this point. Yeah, so all Patrick needs to do is play six adventure creatures in order to equal what what Raph did on, on his yeah, turn. Yeah, fine. No worries. That's not a problem. He's an escape to the wilds from Patrick. Not too bad, but again, not meeting the power level of Omnath here. The Locus of Creation looming large as public enemy number one in this standard format. It has been the villain of this weekend, but it looks like we are headed towards the bad guys winning because Omnath is dominating this top eight as many people expected it to in this adventure's shell. Dominating this game as well, Riley. Um, Patrick had a decent escape to the wilds. Doesn't look like there's much he can do with the remainder of this turn besides cast an edge wall innkeeper. You know, alternatively could have held up mystical dispute for, for a, oh, actually could do both. I'll, I'll correct myself there. Mm -hmm. Can hold up mystical dispute for a blue card, but Raph Levy is going to untap with the Omnath on the battlefield. Lucky Clover in exile via escape to the wilds and Beanstalk Giant to double trigger the Omnath for another one of those crazy turns. All yep. of this, of course, circumventing the the one blue mode of Mystical Dispute. Yes, and Mystical Dispute, a card that really was an absolute powerhouse in uh, in standard before rotation. Obviously, it can be very good, snipe an Omnath on turn three, turn four, but uh, it just doesn't really cut the mustard anymore given uh, how big these Omnath decks go when it comes to mana. They so often have the mana left over to pay for a, a bad mana leak. And here we are seeing it lose a fair bit of utility. Escape the Wilds uh, immune to the cheap version of Mystical Dispute, of course. And now Raphael Levy with just an embarrassment of riches here. Another if, lucky clover, perhaps. Let's see where he goes. If Raph wins this match, we will have uh, a rematch of Raphael Levy versus Austin Bersavich, which was... We didn't get to cover that one as a main feature, but that was our, our, our very first match of the day in the uh, the original part of our upper bracket. Um, Levy came out on top in that one, though Austin mm -hmm. in his player interview said he was quite confident playing these mirror matches against anyone other than his teammate 
Aaron Gertler, but uh, you know he'll he'll be put to the test on that one as Austin will be playing all Omnath Adventure mirrors for the remainder of the event. Yes, indeed. Bone Crusher Giant here for Raphael Levy. Going to take out both of these Edgewall Innkeepers thanks to the Lucky Clovers in play. And two damage upstairs, a little kicker as well. So the Brazilian certainly taking it uh, on the chin here as we see Omnath get in for another four. Patrick down to six. And I don't know what there is that he can do to get himself out of this one. A tangled mess. Raphael Levy firmly in control of this game. And uh, therefore, this match with both these players at one and one, the winner of this game will go on. It's very the... tough, Riley, because um, anything you would do to try to block Omnath is going to run into the Thundering Rebuke and the Brazen Borrower in the hand of mm -hmm. Raphael Levy. And anything you do to kill the Omnath, well, Levy has a face-up second copy of Omnath uh, exiled via Escape to the Wilds. Yes, and, and lands to go with it as well. So a really tough spot here for Patrick, who goes with a, sh a Shatter Skull Smashing to deal with the Omnath and follows it up with a 1-4 Fey of Wishes. Back to Raph now, who immediately prepares to cast this Omnath, Locus of Creation. Going to slam that into play. Here it is, the big mythic once again making its presence felt and a land off the top. Edgewall Innkeeper joins the fray. Another one as well. Levy may be digging for a fetch land here to get the full value from Omnath before... Uh, Playing a land for the turn. Picks up two cards with the innkeeper, Fay of Fay of Wishes, times two. And gonna play a Crag Crown Pathway by the look of things. Raven Triumph also an option, but now gonna go for the untapped land instead. And then Thundering Rebuke to deal with this Fay of Wishes. So a very tidy turn there from Raphael Levy. Ships it back to Patrick Fernandez, who is really under under a lot of pressure here. And offers the GG. I think we're going to see a concession. And Raphael Levy takes it out two games to one against Patrick Fernandez. Congratulations to the French Hall of Famer drawing ever close to yet another feather in his already enormously encumbered hat. But I also.